We've heard a lot of rumors lately, a lot of media reports quoting unnamed sources saying that the Western Hockey League is coming back to Victoria. But tonight, A News has the confirmation that the deal is done that will bring the WHL Chilliwack Bruins to the capital. The gag order has now gone out on the people involved, but we can tell you tonight that Major Junior Hockey is returning to the island. A News reporter Myra Lawrence joins us now with exclusive on-the-record details. Myra. Well, Hudson, it is no April Fool's joke. The WHL is coming back to Victoria. The Chilliwack Bruins were eliminated from the playoffs last night, and minority owner Maury Keith let it be known that a deal is in place with RG Properties to bring the WHL back to the capital. Maury Keith may not be able to talk about the deal anymore, but CKNW's sports director, Jim Mullen, tells all. The Chilliwack Bruins. Amid all the speculation, we have confirmation. The only thing standing in the way right now uh, between Victoria getting a team or not getting a team in the Western League is a vote by the Western League's Board of Governors. The Chilliwack Bruins are being sold to RG Properties. CKNW Sports Director Jim Mullen got the information right from Bruins minority owner Maury Keith. Keith and Bond want to keep the team in Chilliwack. They even put an offer out there to try to keep the team in Chilliwack, but Brian Burke would have none of it. And uh, he said that he was going to honor the previous deal that they had in place with RG Properties. Keith has since been silenced, informed by the league that he cannot talk about the deal based on a confidentiality agreement. Keith was scheduled to appear on Mullen's morning show today, but cancelled at the last minute. It's because there's a deal in place. If there's no deal in place, I think Mr. Keith would be uh, free to speak uh, the way that he liked and the way that he chose. So. Uh, if uh, they're being told to shut up about the deal, it's because there's a deal in place. Longtime Victoria hockey supporter Gary Nunn has sat in virtually every rink in Victoria, watching son Gary Jr. emerge from the Junior B ranks to a pro career with the Alaska Aces. He says he'd support the new WHL team. I, I would support hockey, period. Um, I think Victorians support, uh, um, you know, they will support a winning team. Um, if you put a good product on the ice, uh, they'll support it. But, um, yeah, only time will tell. Barry has those big arms. Mullen did play-by-play -play with the Cougars during the tail end of the glory years of the 80s and says the time has come for the WHL to return to the B.C. capital. Victoria is long overdue for a Western Hockey League franchise. I know the league essentially promised them a franchise by 2013. I think this is a good move for the league. Well, despite all this, Hudson Dave Dakers, president of RG Sports and Entertainment, still won't even confirm that there is a deal on the table, saying if there is something to report on the WHL coming to Victoria, he will hold a press conference at that time. Now, even if the league puts their stamp on the sale today or in the coming days, don't expect RG to be making any comments while the Salmon Kings are in the playoffs, naturally uh, out of respect for what appears to be a lame duck team on its way out. And they, of course, uh, play tonight, Hudson, only two regular season games remaining. Yeah, kind of tough for the S-Kings mm -hmm. in the midst of all of this, huh? Bittersweet, I would think. Yeah. All right. Mara, thank you. Thanks.